a very good afternoon to one and all today we are going to study our sixth lab program first let us understand the problem definition design develop and implement a menu driven program in c for the following operations on circular queue of characters array implementation of queue with maximum size max the first operation is insert an element onto the circular queue delete an element from circular queue demonstrate overflow and underflow situations on circular queue display the status of circular queue and finally exit the program so as per our problem statement it expect us to define appropriate functions for each of the above operations after reading our problem statement we have understood that we need to implement circular queue and again we are going to push characters into a queue and we are going to implement our circular queue with the help of static array by defining maximum size of the array and expected operations we can perform on circular queue are insert an element delete an element display the elements present in your queue and also we need to take care of overflow and underflow conditions while performing insertion and deletion operation respectively so first let us understand simple queue then we will understand what are the possible operations we can perform on simple queue later we will analyze what is the drawback of simple queue and then finally we will go for circular queue discussion and at the end of this video we will discuss implementation of circular queue along with the expected operations yes we know queue is a abstract data structure again queue is open at both of its ends as we have studied in our earlier video as well as class stack is open only at one end hence we can perform both insertion and deletion at the same end whereas queue is open at both of its ends hence we will perform insertion operation at one end and opposite to that we will perform deletion operation so one end is always used to insert data we call n queue and the other is used to remove data that is nothing but d queue queue follows fifo methodology that is nothing but first in first out the element which is inserted in queue first the same element should be removed from the queue first that is the data item stored first will be accessed first a queue can also be implemented using arrays linked list pointers and structures but as per our problem definition we can make use of static array hence we are understanding even simple queue with the help of basic static array concept 
द पॉजिबल ऑपरेशन वी कैन परफॉर्म ऑन क्यू आर एन क्यू दैट इज नथिंग बट एड एन आइटम टू दी क्यू डी क्यू रिमूव एन आइटम फ्रॉम दी क्यू पीक गेस दी एलिमेंट एट दी फ्रंट ऑफ द क्यू विदउट रिमूविंग इट इज फुल कंडीशन चेक वेदर क्यू इज फुल और नॉट इज एम टी कंडीशन इट इज यूज टू परफॉर्म और चेक वेदर क्यू इज एम टी और इट हैव सम एलिमेंट इन क्यू वी ऑलवेज डी क्यू डेटा पॉइंटेड बाई फ्रंट पॉइंटर एंड फाइल एन क्यूइंग डेटा इन दी क्यू वी टेक हेल्प ऑफ रेयर पॉइंटर वॉट इट मीन्स द वे वी यूज अवर टॉप वेरिएबल टू परफॉर्म इंसर्शन और डिलीशन और पुश एंड पॉप ऑपरेशन ऑन स्टैक इन सिमिलर फैशन to perform insertion and deletion operation on queue we are making use of two pointers one is front and another one is a rear the rear pointer is used to insert an element into a queue whereas front pointer is used to delete an element from the queue the following step should be taken to enqueue data into a queue what is the algorithm to perform insertion of any element into a queue first and foremost we need to check whether queue is full if it is full simply we need to display error message stating that queue is full we cannot insert any more elements into a queue if q is not full first we need to increment rear pointer to point to the next empty space and then we need to insert our new element into that particular location at the end we can come out of the function dq operation as we know that this operation is to perform deletion of an element from a queue again this function is going to return the deleted element from the queue so hence before we perform deletion operation we need to check whether queue is empty if queue is not containing any elements we cannot perform deletion or dq operation on queue hence simply display the underflow error message and exit from the program if queue is not empty with the help of front pointer access the element present in your queue after removing an element from a queue increment the value of front pointer by 1 and after that return the element which you have deleted from the queue and next possible operation is display function again it is simple before display function let us check whether queue is empty if queue is empty we cannot display any elements simply output error message and exit from the program suppose queue is not empty then initialize front pointer to a variable i and iterate your queue with the help of iterator variable i and display the elements present in a queue to understand the drawback of simple queue let us understand how 
q works assume that the maximum size of q is 5 it means q can hold only five elements yes i have stated to perform operations on q we are making use of two pointer variables one is front and another one is rear and as we have studied front pointer is used to perform deletion operation on q whereas rear pointer is used to insert a new element into a q initially both front and rear are pointing to minus 1 as soon as you wish to insert a new element then first you need to increment the value of both front as well as rear to zero and hence if you observe my second diagram when i am trying to insert 10 both front and rear are pointing to the location zeroth index of your array and i have inserted the element 10 into the zeroth index of your array or you can say that this is your first element in your queue after that if i wish to insert 20 as we know we are making use of rare pointer variable to insert an element into queue so we have also studied the algorithm for insertion of element into a queue here first we need to check whether queue is full currently queue is not full if it is not full we need to increase the value of rear by 1 so hence it is pointing now at the index 1 and after that i am initializing a new element into that particular index in this example i would like to insert 20 so hence in my first index of array i have inserted 20 similarly if i would like to insert 30 again i would like to increment the value of rear by 1 and then i am inserting 30 at the index 2 again insert 40 again q is not full so i have incremented rear pointer by 1 now rear is pointing to the third index of your array as we know array index starts from 0 hence now rear is pointing to the third index and in that particular index i am inserting my new element 40 again insert 50 now after incrementing the rear pointer by 1 now rear is pointing to the index 4 and i have inserted the newly added element 50 into a queue suppose if i would like to insert 60 now yes we know we need to check for q is full or not by this time q becomes full because your rear is equal to max minus 1 the maximum size of q is 5 5 minus 1 is 4 and your current array index is also pointing at 4 so both are equal hence your q is full you cannot perform insertion operation any more hence in an output i am displaying q is full suppose if i wish to delete an element from q we know that to delete an element from q we need to make use of front variable and to do that first we need to check whether stack is empty currently 
सॉरी इट इज नॉट स्टैक क्यू इज क्यू इज एम टी करेंटली क्यू इज नॉट एम टी सो फर्स्ट आई विल टेक आउट द एलिमेंट टेन फ्रॉम द इंडेक्स जीरो एंड आफ्टर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू इंक्रीमेंट द वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रंट बाय वन now the element 10 is removed from the queue similarly if i wish to delete my second element again first i need to take out that element from the queue and then again increment the front pointer variable by 1 now front is pointing at the index value 2 so by performing deletion operation twice on q we have successfully removed the elements 10 and 20 respectively now by looking at this diagram we can easily say that stack is sorry q is not full still first and second index of Q R M T. So with that concept, if I insert sixty again, I am getting Q is full because the rear is already equal to maximum minus one. So hence, here again it is displaying Q is full, even though. q is not actually full here we are getting an output q is full this is the major drawback of your simple q then how to overcome this problem we can overcome this problem with the help of circular q so let us understand so let us understand how circular queue works and again circular queue is a linear data structure and again circular queue works with the same principle as our simple queue works that is pifo principle first in first out but the only difference between simple queue and circular queue is in the circular queue the last node is connected back to the first node to make a circle if you observe my below diagrams here the last node or the last element is connected back to the first element to make our queue as a circular queue again here concept is same we are going to use rear pointer to insert new element into a queue and front pointer variable to delete an element from a Q. The Q is considered as a circular Q when the positions zero and max minus one are adjacent. These zero and max minus one values are array index. When these two elements are adjacent, we call our Q as a circular Q. Again, let us understand. now how circular queue works yes i have stated yes i have stated when we would like to insert our first element 10 by that time we need to increment the pointer variable front and rear by 1 initially both are pointing to minus 1 so now after incrementing both the pointers or values by 
we are inserting our new element 10 at the zeroth index after that if i wish to insert 20 rare pointer will be incremented by 1 and again 20 is inserted similarly 30 40 50 which we have already studied the concept of insertion of element till this is same after that when i try to insert 60 by this time q is full so we cannot perform insertion of a new element anymore so hence i am displaying q is full after that when i perform my first deletion operation from a q 10 is removed after removing 10 i will be incrementing front pointer by 1 again if i delete an element from circular queue then 20 is removed from the queue and again i am incrementing front pointer by 1 assume that now if i would like to insert the new element 60 by this time it is not going to check only whether rear is pointing to max minus 1 along with that in circular queue we have connected our last element to the first element to make our queue as a circular hence it will check first positions also what are the conditions for is full is empty we will see them later in our programming concept but as of now assume how the circular queue operations works with the help of pictorial diagram with the help of picture so now when i insert my new element 60 60 is inserted at the location 0 because here when we are incrementing rare simply we are not making increment of rare along with that we are going to calculate modulus of your maximum size so that is nothing but 4 plus 1 mod 5 is equal to 0 hence in 0th location 60 is stored again when i insert 70 rare pointer is incremented by 1 again now 70 is inserted in the first location or first index of our q when i try to insert 80 now q is full i cannot perform insertion operation anymore so just if you look last but one pictorial diagram you will come to know that you can say whether q or circular queue is full or not with the help of condition when front is equal to rare plus 1 or when front is pointing to the zeroth index and rare is pointing to the maximum minus 1 in either of these two situation we can say that circular queue is full even the circular queue can be represented as shown below after understanding the functionality of simple queue as well as circular queue now i hope you can easily implement program to perform insertion deletion and display of q elements easily let us discuss the programming example so yes we need to define size of the array so hence i am defining size of array as 5 and i have declared items of size 
and as i have stated we are making use of two pointer variables that is front and rear hence i am defining two variables of type integer and initially both are pointing to minus 1 again if you observe declaration of variables all of them are declared globally so before we understand user defined function let us understand first main function and then we will come back to the user defined functions as usual what we have done in our previous programs in the same fashion we have defined our user defined functions before our main function hence it is not necessary for us to define or declare user defined functions before our main function so yes for the problem statement what we need to do is we need to implement circular queue in such a way that it should be menu driven to make it menu driven first let us declare two variable ch and item of type integer here variable ch is used to read choice of a user and item variable is declared if user wish to perform insertion operation then he needs to enter the element which he would like to or she would like to insert into a queue so that element will be stored in item and pass that item as an argument to your nq operation so do i yes we need to display menu driven so i am with the help of printf function i am displaying options one for insertion two for deletion three for display and four for exit yes i have stated we need to read choice from the end user so for that i am displaying message enter the choice with the help of printf function whatever value or option user wish to perform when he or she enter the value or their choice i will be storing that value in a variable ch with the help of switch condition we can execute either of these operations based on the selection of end user in case one we would like to call nq operation and as we know whenever we are performing insertion of an element we need to read element from the end user so for that i am asking end user to enter the character or item to be inserted in scanf we need to say percentage c ampersand item here in this example i have implemented for integer element but as per our lab program it should be for characters so hence here while reading say scan f in bracket percentage c double quote complete comma ampersand item and call that in nq item break case 2 deletion purpose dq break case 3 display and case 4 exit this do while loop will execute until and unless user select the fourth operation or fourth option so now let us understand the implementation of q in that first condition is is full and it is returning as it is a boolean function it is returning whether q is full or not that is true or false value 
as i have stated your circular queue is full only in two condition one when front is equal to equal to rear plus one or when front is pointing to the location zero and rear is pointing to the location maximum size minus one if either of these conditions meet out then we will say that circular queue is full so hence i am returning one otherwise i am returning zero similarly to check whether queue is empty we are performing again one more boolean function that is is empty suppose front is pointing at the location minus 1 then we can say that q is empty hence when front value is equal to equal to minus 1 i am returning 1 else i am returning 0 now to perform nq operation we know that we have inserted character so hence here instead of int element it should be char element if is full because before performing nq operation we need to check q is full or not so hence i am checking if is full if it returns true then q is full hence i am printing q is full suppose is full boolean function return false that indicates that q is not full still there is a space to hold new element so in else i am checking if front equal to equal to minus 1 suppose front is pointing at the location minus 1 that is the indication that q is empty so for the first time whenever we are inserting our first element in circular queue we need to increase the value of front by 1 hence i am making front equal to 0 after that we know always we need to increment rear by 1 because we are making use of rear variable for insertion operation rear equal to rear plus 1 mod size so after that items of rear equal to element print f inserted percentage c element here this function is implemented for integer whereas our program demands us to insert character hence wherever i have red percentage d make that as a percentage c next function is removing an element that is dq whenever we wish to delete an element from a circular queue first we need to check whether queue is empty or not if queue is empty we cannot perform deletion operation on circular queue if queue is not empty then we need to remove element to hold that element i required one variable hence i am defining integer element but this should be character element if is empty if boolean function returns true then it indicates that q is empty hence i am displaying q is empty and returning minus 1 that is nothing but i am exiting from the program else if q is not empty then first i need to remove an element from q with the help of front variable so i am saying element equal to items of front after removing an element suppose both front and rear are pointing at the same location then it indicates that your queue becomes empty hence reinitialize the value of front and rear to minus 1 suppose after removing an element the value of front is not equal to rear then it indicates that still queue is having 
more elements so if you wish to perform deletion by that time then increment front by 1 with modulus of size and initialize the newly calculated value of front to a front variable after that deleted element percentage c comma element and i am returning element suppose if we wish to return element then the return of our dq function should be character it should not be integer here it should be character because our problem statement demands us to perform insertion and deletion of characters not integer values the finally display function integer i again before display we need to check whether q is having elements or not so for that i am calling is empty function suppose if is empty function returns true that indicates that q is empty else i need to print the value of front where it is pointing to after that i wish to print all the elements which are present in our q so for i equal to front and i value is not equal to rare i am incrementing i by 1 modulus size print f again here it is percentage c comma items of i at the end we need to print the last element of your q with the help of print f percentage c comma items of i and at the end i am printing now where rare is pointing at or i am printing the location of rare with the help of print f this is simple program i hope you understood simple queue operations of simple queue what is the drawback of simple queue how we can overcome the drawback of simple queue with the help of circular queue what are the possible operations we can perform on circular queue as well as the implementation of circular queue if you have any doubts even after watching this video please you can call me at any point of time and clarify your doubts again here i would like to say don't keep doubts with you guys whenever you get some doubts while going through this video or after completion of this video please call back and clarify all your doubts thank you